which I feel like mid range is a perfect option for that. But anyways, not getting into Young Link, we actually have to get into Carlo and Zane. Now I know Zane has been struggling with this matchup. They have definitely had. I think um, they might have lost to All for um, All for None in Long Island. Uh, they've lost to just a few, um, you know. Roy's overall together, and what I'm hoping to see is um, some utilization from them to be able to kind of just avoid a lot of their, um, you know, s like just very well spaced like tools and just like ugh, completely. Yeah, and and mm -hmm. it should be noted that uh, Carflow beat Sinji, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So um, that's how Carflow got into this top eight. So Carflow <laughs> beat Sinji. So this is a uh, pretty pretty good stuff by Carflow. Um, but yeah, like you said, this is actually a pretty difficult matchup for Duck Hunt. Gary is a character that can be all over you at all at all times and could break zones really easily. But zone Zane right now they're building a good space. But <laughs> with that being said, yeah, Carflow just finally taking this out with a back air and 55%. They're not in bad shape. Oh, absolutely not. And although you know they are breaking space very easily. Zayn is still looking like they're trying to have, I mean, they're having a little bit of trouble just making sure that they can really comfortably control this character, I would say. It's just the matter of, like, them being able to get their zone broken so easily uh, just ooh, contributes so much to it. But they are still doing very amazing, kind of just, you know, getting all these confirms onto Carflow. I'll say this in that situation. Roy's side B is actually, like, minus, was it, like, minus 30 or something. So when Roy does that last hit of side B, that is a very hard punish. Like you could just add a, you could add a shield forward smash, add a shield up smash. Like mm -hmm. you don't even have to think about it. That's crazy. Yeah, it's very bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's very bad on shield. But just speaking about unshield, uh, this is looking ooh very nice. I really love the mix up on that edge guard right there, and I honestly can see this being a little bit bad of a situation. For Carflow, they don't have their jump, and they need to find some type of way back onto stage without pressing too much of their, you know, tools, but... For some reason, I don't know why, every time I see Carflow in the position, I feel like Zane's gonna throw out a Hydrant. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why, it's just, that's just like the cartoon character in me that I'm thinking of, but um, yeah, Zane doing a oh. very good job. Uh, did you? I, I thought that wasn't true. Uh... Can we, can we run that back? Yeah, let's, run that, let's run that back. Okay. Wait, we also need to run that back to talk about their makeup, because look at that. Wait, wait, wait. Got the up tilt into the up air, right? Oh, no, that wasn't true. That definitely didn't that, have that, been that true. Was, yeah, that wasn't true. Carful just tried to like land, but... but wait, 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 wait. Do we have a little bit after? Yup, look at it. Look at it. Period. Look at that eyeliner Ooh. right there. Look at that little. I didn't even know to see the see the mask. Period. See, see, Period. See, see, see the mask. The mask. I didn't even know. We need, we, need, we need to get them a different color mask. We need to get them like a <laughs> get them like a white mask or something, right? So, yeah. um, for sure. But getting into this next game, we're going to Karam. Okay, I um I don't agree with this. Really? <laughs> oh well, actually, yeah, that's actually true because <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with this. But we'll see. Um, um, I, I, I just feel like you know, especially the way that Zane's playing. Uh, Krom is going to be susceptible to whatever, uh, you know, Duck Hunt's going to do off stage, and they're going to have to uh, recover in a very specific way. And, I'm, um, yeah. Yeah, it's, a uh, Krom is just one of those characters that they have a lot of good, you know, um, zone-breaking tools, but, like... Yeah, just like Roy. Well, yes, for sure, but I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I feel like they can do a little, just a little bit better than Roy. In all honesty, it's the same character, but... Then that's what it is. <laughs> you just have situations like that where yeah. you go bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like I'm not sure with um I don't know if Carflow is like a a Roy Crom co main. But the thing about Crom sometimes is that like if you're a player that that you kinda just play Crom because you play Roy, there are certain specific things that you're gonna have to be wary of, especially when it comes to recovering. There are certain angles as Crom that you have to save your jump just so you can use an air dodge, right? And that was probably a situation like the first duck that messed up a little bit, but in, but a situation where like probably needed to conserve a jump better. And um Absolutely, for sure too. I also want to mention that that's something that Zayn tends to do a lot of the time, where they will shoot, or they will use um, gunmen right, you know, towards the ledge, so that it actually can catch a few situations. And that was looking like it could have been death, but that was so close. That would have been ooh, just so good if they would have gotten that. But just trying to take this stock off as soon as possible. Gonna get that nice. That would look like it was Nair. They traded with Nair. Uh, forward. That's a oh, forward air. 
Either way, it was still amazing. Yeah, yeah. Very nice stock being taken off from Zayn. Yeah. And just kind of trying to pile on the damage a little bit some more. Yeah. And, you know, I was about to, just about to say, Carflow sticking in there. One jab, jab back air away from taking that stock and going low with the back air. And Carflow still in this. And, you know, one thing about Krom is that you don't have to worry about what noodle hits with this character. Like, every single hit you do, higher low is going to be definite. So that's, I feel like that's one advantage. That I mean, does have. Yeah, absolutely for sure. To add to that note is that, you know, like Roy doesn't have too many strong tools because I think it's actually stronger at the hilt of, you know, the yeah. sword itself. Mm -hmm. So being that that's kind of the situation, like you want to have all of these, you know, this consistent damage getting piled on like we're seeing yeah. right now and going to get that ass smash and going to yeah. kill. That's so crazy. Yeah, and uh, Zayn panic in that situation because you saw Carflow go for a down throw and then re-grab. That was, that was crazy. And just panicked a little bit right there. Don't think they meant to, yeah, don't think they meant to like up B that high, but Slight, just slightly misjudged. It probably meant to dip a little bit lower, and Carfor was just like, huh. <laughs> "It's time." <laughs> Absolutely for sure. But looks like that. Wait, what stage did they go to? I wish I would have seen. Oh, they're going to battlefield. Okay. I I couldn't I can't I couldn't see the green. It was oh my god. <laughs> um, but for sure, um, going to battlefield. I really like this stage so that you know. It, it gives more routes for Zane to actually read, you know, what Carflow wants to do while they are, you know, trying to approach. Mm -hmm. And not only that, just getting some damage really quick right here for us now, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, and um, this is, I feel like this stage is a double-edged sword mm -hmm. for um, when, it come, when it comes to a pick for Duck Hunt. Because Krom, just like other sword characters on this stage, can get a lot of combos. A lot of extensions, and um, yeah, I mean, let's see how, how Zayn utilizes the stage because right now it's looking pretty good and trying to get that forward smash punish. And right now, you're in a when you get down tilted by by uh, Krom or Roy in that situation, that's like 50 50 for your life. Oh my, <laughs> not the 50 50s. Yeah, that's see, oh! that's what see, see, when you get down tilted like that, when you get put in knockdown, that's like you're guessing. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so crazy. Uh, yeah. Maybe this is why they wanted to go, Krom. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely been working out for them. Except for that back air getting taken at 178%, if I remember correctly. Ah, we're just seeing a really even game so far, as opposed to the Roy that we did see. Mm -hmm. For yeah. sure. Yeah, and I, I think I, I think one thing is that Carful seems a little bit more comfortable with Krom. Um, a little bit more decisive, especially with the reads that mm -hmm. they're going for. And I think it does have a lot to do with the down tilt in question because sometimes at Roy you don't get the sweet spot at down tilt or it has a little bit too much knockback and they you know they could DI up and pop them in the air and I feel like with Krom, um, it's a little bit easier to get the, in those tech chase mm -hmm. situations. I also feel like Zayn is just having a little bit of trouble in disadvantage than they were opposed to, you know, with Roy because it's just like Roy sometimes like although they're disadvantage or advantage really good, you have a lot of situations. Yeah, yeah you can't do that. Yeah, and Ooh. that's one thing as Krom you can't do. Roy can do that, Krom can't do that. I mean we were seeing it. It was it was pretty good from um Carflows and they have mm -hmm. gotten two of them, which actually ended off a lot of Zane's stocks, but I just think that was very poorly. No okay. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't uh air touch back in the situation, that's a trap. Just getting some really good advantage here. Nice placement with the can. Just trying to put on a lot of space so that they can eventually look for their kill option. That was actually almost really bad for Zane. Yeah, because if Carflow down tilted in the correct in, in the correct way, that could have been another guess for your life situation for oh Zane. God. And you can actually like um, you know di up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Di up, and I, I don't know because. At that percent, yeah, I think I think Krom had enough knockback because they were in rage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because sometimes at like that per at certain percent you can't uh, di up won't help, but I think in that situation di up would have helped. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting, but yes, for sure, it's just looking a little bit scary because you know Zane has to really watch out for this Krom here. Although they did take that stock, that was looking a little scary. Yeah, a little yeah. scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a little, a little scary. Yeah, that that um. Actually, that, that last stock that Zane took was a whiff punish on a grab, which is hilarious. Ah. <laughs> That's the one, the one time that Carflow didn't swing got punished. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, but for sure, I definitely like this, you know, pick to Town and City, giving them a lot more space to avoid a lot of the stuff that's going on here. However, uh, yeah. <laughs> how, I, I don't understand how this happened. How do, like, when you're playing against Roy and Crumb, I, I'm sorry, it's just, how do you not bend down? <laughs> Because I feel like, because 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 like Crom's Crom and Roy can get a lot of early kills on the Town City platforms, and it's just like always really unfortunate when people don't ban Town and then they get Carnival percents at like 40. That is absolutely true. <laughs> However, I truly do think people love the circus show act that we get where we're on the stage. Like, all you have to do is just play neutral and then like throw them I guess like one time off stage and then like they're dead. It's crazy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> But also, like leading into that factor, you know, the kill percent is probably just one of the the one thing that's actually gonna kill. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> saying right there. But yeah. that's literally so crazy. Yeah, and it's like you know, and especially against. Wow. Uh, oh uh, my God. Uh, ah! uh, <laughs> I don't remember what I was gonna say, but um, yeah, crazy setup. But Carflow is definitely in the driver's seat right now. Um, getting that stock early in the first stock and um. Yeah, I feel like they, they definitely found a rhythm in this matchup. Mm. Uh, yeah. It happens. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah and that, that's the second time that Zane's misjudged the ledge with Duck Hunt when going, going for that upbeat. That's so, so sad. I mean, this is definitely within the robo possibilities. They just have to be very careful. That's this true. could be a down air. That's oh, true. it's going to be back air. Yeah. I mean, it's still going to kill. But, like, still, that that we, we love when Zane gets those. They are literally so good with getting it. However, we just need to talk about how they're going to actually get back to just trying to kill this Krom over here. Because they definitely need to take this stock soon before something bad goes from Yeah, and right now... um. You're definitely in Nair forward smash percent. Yeah, okay. Still in Nair forward smash percent. Krom could definitely take the stock in that right now. Ooh. That was very I think they intentionally used that, um, you know, hitbox right there, but... Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, and, th and, th and, this is the, and this is the position that you put yourself in on Town and City. When you're on that platform, it's actually... It's actually very hard it, for you to get out, and it's like... Anything can go wrong. For sure. And it's looking like something's going a little wrong here right now because this is exactly where Zane is looking a little scared right now. They're at 130% and anything could go wrong. <gasps> oh. Okay. Getting okay. some really good advantage here. This is definitely what Zane needs. Getting that very, very good nice. Wait. Oh my good god. Wait. They're still going to get hit by it. <gasps> oh my god. That was oh crazy. My Yo, god. Car flow. Okay, that was good because a lot of Kroms and Roy's in that position would reach for a jab back air and either hit it and not and not kill, or just like whiff and get whiff punished just for reaching. And in that situation, the patience that he showed right there was very good. Uh, who? Uh, Carflow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. For sure. That was so crazy because like that was literally just a situation that could have ended in death. That if they would have, I think if would if they would have gotten that last, um, you know, um. What is it called? Clay Pigeon. There we yeah, go. Pigeon, um, yeah. They could have definitely killed Carflow in that situation. Oh, man. That was, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, uh, just another, you know, ju another misplay by, by Zane. Um, but Carflow showing composure, especially that last dock. And it's just like, and you even see Zane throwing out that back air to try to read the, the overextension mm -hmm. on, on, on the reach. And now we're back to Battlefield. So uh, what do you think about this? Um, I honestly think that Zane is going to use this a lot better. I mean, um, it, this was a, you know, set that they, or game that they won, right? Yes, I believe so. Ooh. Okay. But for sure, I definitely think that this is what they need to kind of, um, you know, put themselves back in the position because they, this is definitely where they had a little bit of trouble, but not too much trouble. That it's actually going to, you know, end up working against their favor like Town did. And one thing that... And one thing that I thought was going to be a factor is that um, Callfire is actually recovering pretty high with up B and not getting punished for it whatsoever. Um, so, you know, he's getting away with that for free, and Zane needs to work on that um, because that's something that you shouldn't be letting Crom get away for free. But, you know, kudos to Carful. I mean, for sure. And it's looking like this could be very scary if they don't know how to get back to the stage. They're going to get up there for the trouble. It's just like that one right there. Yeah, and um, yeah, and that and that's something that 
both characters can take advantage of on this stage. Both characters do struggle with a bit with landing. And uh, with a platform stage like Battlefield, you got get a, a lot of opportunities to shark under the platforms. And um... Oh my god. And still putting on even more damage. And already at 95%, this could end so poorly for Carlo, our car flow right here. Oh my god. Ooh, gonna get hit by that back air. Not gonna do too much to kill just yet, but this could be very scary. And no tech zone and car flow misjudging how far up they were, I guess. I think that they might have expected a trade. Yes, because I feel like a trade would have ended in like them having to tech as well. Mm. However, that was just so bad for them. But never I'm mind, saying, never that. mind. Yeah. I spoke too soon. They're gonna get that kill and they're gonna put it right back to even right here. Yeah, and yeah. this is looking so sad. Like if Zane can't pull this together. Yeah, and that was a situation actually where Zane actually had the right DI. So at the ledge, if you DI jab um, up and away or just away, right? They can't. Get, it's very hard for them to get the jab back here. And they're actually very far uh, when mm -hmm. they got jabbed and just had, still panic air dodged, but mm -hmm. you know, still holding it together. Period. <laughs> Yo, can we, hey, wait, 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 wait. Yo, can, can we can we run back that um headphone toss by Zane? I felt that energy. Can we run that back? Can can we can we can we can we run that back that headphone <laughs> to us, please? Wait 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 wait! Come on come on come on! Pan back out! Get the hell out of here! Get the hell out of here! Let's go! I love it! I love it! Period! I love it! I love it! That's I like that energy. Um, we truly do, and that was just really good on from Zane because like they had some <laughs> really good instances. <laughs> <laughs> just done with it. Get out of here. <laughs> but, like, they really had some really good instances of, you know, like,